My name is Nathan Johnson. I am the owner of Drift Studio, also the creative director of the X Magazine by Today Ticks. So I first moved to the city about 10 years ago with my wife. She got a job on Broadway and, um, and I was an actor at that point. So I was doing a lot of auditioning um, for shows and you know I was waiting in line at 6, 7 a.m. putting my name in on the list and these giant cattle calls and, and just trying to get seen. And I, I quickly realized that wasn't necessarily the life that I wanted. Um, but I love the industry of Broadway and, and I love the entertainment industry and that sort of thing. So I started thinking about other things that I love to do and one of the things was photography. Um, and I kind of got this idea to maybe open up a photography studio, which I did. I ended up doing that like on 56th Street and 8th Avenue. And that's where I kind of started to work with a lot of actors. Um, that's where I shot my first campaign uh, was when I was over there. I shot for Bonnie and Clyde. What I do right now is, is a really a great balance between um, the theater and, and the entertainment industry and photography all coming together. Honestly, it's a, it's a great place for me to be. I, I love supporting theater. I love photographing theater. I love, um, you know, getting my teams together to be able to create work that, that really promotes theater and makes it look as glamorous and sexy as possible. I mean, I just, um, whatever I can do to help support the industry, that's kind of how I see myself, as somebody that's able to support what they're doing on stage. It's, I'm able to, you know, garner more attention and, and show them off, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, this is, a, this is a great place for me to be. So I've really wanted Drift Studio to be a place where creatives can come, they can feel like they're inspired in this space, they can feel like it's a little bit of a blank canvas. Uh, I wanted it to feel comfortable for my clients and my friends and for the community. And so Drift Studio, see a lot of the, the stuff we have is this wood or old iron or this kind of worn feel. We've really played off the High Line because we're at we're right along the High Line. And now what they've done is they've made it a, a park for New Yorkers. And it runs like from 34th Street down to like 14th Street. And I really wanted to kind of have that feel. I think we've achieved that, but it's been a really great space. We've, we've been able to have really amazing clients and be able to see some really incredible work that's been created here. So um, it's been fascinating to be a part of. Yeah, we've had some great actors from Riverdale and other CW shows. We've had Vogue has shot here and, and GQ and Harper's Bazaar and all those cats. Um, all the magazines basically have all been through here at some point. And then on, on the other hand, I've had um, people from Breaking Bad or I've had shows, you know, people from AMC. I've had, you know, Samuel Jackson and Robert Redford and all these great people that I really respect. And so it's been a cool place to have just people that, you, you know, I don't get to necessarily connect with those people outside of this environment. When they come in here, you know, I'm able to talk to Daniel Radcliffe or something like that, where if I saw him on the street, I would never approach him. Or if we were at an event, you know, he's crazy busy. But when he's here, he's able to be, you know, it's just a set of 15 people. And it's like, it's a, being on set is just a little bit, it's, it's a little different. Everybody's there for, to get the best product possible. Everybody's there to get the best outcome and create the best work possible. So. It's a, it's a fun space to be in. So my favorite part of photo shoots and about creating is the collaborations. Um, I love having um, different people that are really good at their jobs. Um, I love partnering with them and I love, because what I can do, I, I, I can create good work on my own, but I can create much better work with other talented people. So today, like we've got a photo shoot this afternoon and you know, it's like when you find a great model and a great makeup artist and a great hairstylist, it's like, now, now we're all for working together, trying to create something better. Or, you know, if we're shooting a Broadway campaign, you know, we've got the art director and the, and the creative director of the company, and we're all putting our heads together to create something that is much better than what we could do just one person on their own. Some people are lone wolves. I like collaborating. Um, and so 
honestly, like photo shoots, I, I, I think being on set is always just kind of, it's exciting. I think every set's a little bit different and you get to create the environment that you, like when a client comes in here, the set is what I want it to be and I set the tone for those, for those shoots. And so I'm, I have a lot of fun doing that too. So some advice that I would have for aspiring photographers and, and filmmakers, I, I just, I think it's important to just, you know, get out there and shoot and um, find out what you're passionate about. I, I'm kind of somebody that comes with the school of thought of just shoot everything until you start to understand where, what your niche is. And um, I, it took me a while. I was shooting weddings, I was shooting, you know, uh, what else was I doing? Senior portraits and that sort of thing back in Minnesota, you know, 12, 12 years ago. And I realized very quickly that's not what I wanted to do and it's not what I, the type of work that I wanted to be shooting. So, in fact, that's why I think I came into photography a little bit later because I didn't see that wasn't what I really, really enjoyed. So I hadn't found it yet. Um, and it took me being an actor to actually kind of get me thinking in that sphere of like, oh, maybe there's something I can do here with my community this way. But um, I think shoot everything until you start realizing what you're passionate about and what you want to kind of focus in on and then uh, do that but then also start just watching the other people that are sitting in the space that you want to be working in and see what they're doing and what you would want to change and all that sort of stuff so um, and then I think for that it's after there it's, it's just like doing as much as you can but also um, you know read as much as you can and, and look up as much tutorials and behind the scenes as you can online as well there's so many resources you know some people do college classes totally great for me, I taught myself and I was, I, you know, it was a little bit of trial and error and uh, which I think can be a real, you know, a real good teacher. Failure can be a good teacher, you know, and, and finding what, what you didn't do so great on a shoot and how can you fix it? How can you make it better the next time? I'm always working to make my work better. So this photo shoot this afternoon, I'm, I'm literally thinking like, what, what can I try that I haven't tried before? Like, how can I push my boundaries? And there's always a risk for failure, but I think um, that like, that little, the little butterflies, they just never leave me. Like they're always there when I'm trying something new. And um, but I think that's a good thing, you know? So Princeton Knight, thank you for joining us. You're on the set of Drift Studios and uh, it's been fun having you.